So the lane departure um, feature will actually, and road departure mitigation, will actually be able to tell you when you're going out of your lane. So if you go out of your lane without signaling, it'll yell at you and beep like that right now. Yep. It's yelling at me because I didn't put my signal light on. And it'll actually beep at you and try to keep you in your lane. Now it depends on the situation. So um, for example, if you're you know about to change lanes and hit a car, it's not going to take the time to warn you first. It's going to just keep you in your lane, yeah. right? Um, but the system's super intelligent. So if you're on that, especially if you're on the highway, it'll actually keep you in the middle of your lane once you've got your lane set up. Um, and you know, it'll take curves for you. So as we saw, it'll actually like drive, um, it'll, it'll go around like curves for you yeah. in the event that, you know, it's like, oh, hey, I mean, we've all done it. Look, a cow or yeah. a horse. Look at the horses. Or look at the lake. Um, look at the lake. It's beautiful. And then the road starts to curve and you're like, oh. Yeah. And so then you, you got to change your, you know. So the car actually keeps you in the middle of your lane, which is great. It's controlled by a camera at the top of the windshield. Um, and if you start to go out of your lane, it'll bring you back in. It'll say lane departure. Yeah. Um, and just kind of take care of you. It's really cool. Which I think is good too, because on both highways we have going out of our city, they're very curvy and you never really know. There could be animals coming or they're doing construction, like you said. Yeah. And like there's just a lot of curves and hits you gotta take to actually go on them. Oh, definitely, yeah. And um, the cool thing about the systems too, that people don't realize, that people get a little nervous about, is like, well, what if I have to swerve to avoid an animal? I'm not gonna put my signal light on yeah. to do that, right? Which yeah. obviously you're not, right. um, or to avoid a car or whatever you need to do. But the system is preventative. So it's just trying to help you out. It'll shake the steering wheel very gently if you start to veer yeah. out of your lane, but it's not an aggressive oversteer. So it really does allow you to stay in control of the vehicle. If you try to do an emergency maneuver, the car can tell that that's what you're doing and it'll always let you be in control of the vehicle so you'll never feel like oh my car's trying to fight me yeah for from trying to avoid an animal or trying to swerve to avoid a car or whatever yeah. it ends up being which is good oh yeah it's huge right i mean it's it's i mean you don't want to rely on the systems no because they're not meant to drive the car for you they're meant to help you out but it is nice to know that in the event that you are in a you know in a weird spot it can help you out and you know keep control of your vehicle mm -hmm. when you need it to and i feel like if you're someone who like drives on the highway a lot and it just gets like continuous and you kind of zone out and in the best way possible <laughs> not not paying attention but there's just little things like you're starting to swerve over it's good to have that to kind of pull you back in and like shake you up absolutely just give you kind of like that reminder of like hey yeah. you're still there right yeah um, and you're right. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You're on a long trip. You're tired, whatever. You drive a lot on the highway. These systems are meant to help you out. So it really does, you know, it really does make things safer on the road. Yeah. And a lot of these cars are equipped with these features. Honda's kind of gone a little bit, um, a little bit further with them, which yeah. is nice. I mean, now, even in the new Civic, for the first time, they've put um, the traffic jam assist, which um, is basically like the lane keep assist system, yeah. but in in a slower mode. So it used to be that you had to be going 72 kilometers an hour right. or more um, to, you know, to get to that speed yeah. or to, to have the lane assist work. Now, it works even in the city. As long as there's lanes that it can detect, um, it'll work in the city and keep you in your lane. So if you start to veer out, it'll actually help you up, keep you in the middle and uh, again take curves for you so uh, really nice to know when it's super busy I mean in the Sioux we're not so much here but when you're in big cities like Toronto and whatnot and the yeah. traffic's crazy uh, that makes a big difference right Definitely. so especially if you live in the Sioux and travel to Toronto and you're not used to that right yeah so all stuff to kind of keep you safe and help you out yeah and I think that's one of the best features about the Civic how they put that stuff in it's such a little car easy for people to drive around in yes but you get that extra like help that you need sometimes when you can't be looking at every single point on the car absolutely yeah you're totally right Thank you.